So um, let's create our first project, Red On. Um, locate your U Vision version 5 icon, double click to open. I have mine pinned to the taskbar here, so I'll just open from here. Here we go. Okay, this is a previous project, don't mind this. To create a new project, you come to the menu bar here, click on project, go to new U Vision project. There we go. I'll store mine in the cortexm.com folder. I suggest you create a folder to store all your projects. It makes things really, really easy as we move forward. Um, yeah, let's give our project a name, file name. Um, let's create, let's create a folder for it first. I'll do this. And create a folder called Red On. As simple as that. You can call it whatever you want, and I'll call the project Red On as well. And I would save it and then now we choose the microcontroller we're going to be using remember we use the package installer to install Texas Instruments and ST electronics ST microelectronics earlier the only one we're going to use here is Texas Instruments so if you have just Texas Instruments installed it's fine you don't need to go and install more um, so we have Texas Instrument, we're using the Tiva C series and we're using the TM4C123 series. So you click here and then choose this one, one, two, three, four. So the fourth one, TM4C1230H6PM. Yeah. So you click OK and now you have the runtime environment manager. And what we want here is to add the CMSYS core. It's a startup file. And we have the startup file. Remember, we spoke about the startup.c and .s files. We click this to include those files into our project. And remember, we said if we don't include these files, then our project will not compile at all. So that's how we include them. So over here, you need just the core under CMSYS and you need the startup under device. And you click OK. Now you have it, project read on and under here you would see this and here you have your startup.s file and your startup.c file you can see the file has the name of the microcontroller written with it um, after this you want to set up certain conditions of your microcontroller and you come here target options you click here and the first thing you do is on the targets here you change frequency to 16 megahertz and under debug, you come here and then you choose the Stellaris ICDI. Remember, we installed this driver when we first started. Yes, that's the driver we're using for our microcontroller. So we choose this and don't worry about the other things here, the other tabs. We'll talk about them when we need them. I don't want to overwhelm you now. So you click OK. And there are some other things here that will be relevant in case you want to change something in your runtime environment you can click this this um, diamond shaped icon here and it will bring you back here you see we already chose here in case you wanted to add new drivers or delete some you can always come back here by clicking here and you can still go to your package installer from here in case you want to use a new microcontroller or you realize you don't even have Texas Instruments installed, you can come to the micro, uh, you can come to the package installer to install that. See here, you can install, you can choose different microcontrollers from different vendors to install. And apart from this, I'm sure you would want to customize the IDE for yourself to do that you would want to come to edit and configuration you click here and then you have several tabs here but the tab that we are interested in is the color and font tab you come here and it gives you the information about the fonts um here it says all editors the carrot line gives you a background color of this and the foreground color of this and text selection gives you a background color of sky blue and a foreground color of black and there's this one here the right margin gives you this font color but 
to change the text itself you come to assembly asm editor files and you select the font type you want i'm using courier new size 14 i find it very very convenient so you select that and you change the foreground and background color and to do the same for the c code you come to the c slash c plus plus editor files and you go to text and then you choose the font and the font size some people find it useful to have different fonts for assembly code and for c code it makes it easy for them to differentiate but i am okay using the same font for both um you can do other things like changing the color for keywords for comment for preprocessors for matching braces and so on and so forth but I recommend you keep the colors the same for consistency sake sometimes you would need to download some code from me and you might need to download some code and some libraries from other sources and these libraries use the um, the standard colors so it might be a bit confusing if you customize your color to something very fancy and you seeing you're looking at a different code and it has different color code even if you are if you are an expert it would make things a bit more difficult so just leave the colors alone that's my recommendation you can change the font type and the font size yeah